is where you're at. Today, we're going to do a bathroom tour. Just kidding, we're not doing a bathroom tour. This is my curly hair routine. So that's why I switched it up and I thought it would be more natural if we actually came to the place that I do my hair and that is in the bathroom, in the shower, right? In recent years, I started to wear and rock my natural curls a lot more. If you knew me back in middle school or high school, I wore my hair straight majority of the time. I've only straightened my hair three times in the whole course of 2016 and that's a pretty big deal for me that makes me happy i've really been embracing my natural curls and really loving them and it just embracing them because it's a part of me i'm not a curl expert by any means i'm not a pro but i think when you have curly hair you're always going to be doing research and trying to find what products work best for your hair and your curl type your curl pattern whatever and you're always going to be searching through products. I've tried so many different products for my curly hair. I've tried Cantu, Shea Moisture, Mixed Chicks. You, know, you try everything because you're trying to find the best thing for your hair. I'm not going to shoot a shower scene. I'm not there yet in terms of technology. I don't know how people shoot with the, them in the shower. I don't know. I'm not there yet. I'm not even going to try and do that. But all you need to know that's happening in the shower in terms of my hair is that I use a wide tooth comb. It's a lot easier to get out all of those tangles and all the little naps and things going on back there. And it doesn't pull on your hair as much as if you used a fine tooth comb. It just flows through your hair a lot easier with the curls and whatnot. I definitely put the shower water on cold. It sucks. It really sucks, but it makes my hair look so much better. 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 It brings shine. I think it decreases frizz. And I think it just overall makes my curls look the best that they can be. They look really defined and they look just phenomenal. Okay, I'm about to get into the shower because the day must go on. I can't just be sitting out here in my funk. I need to get in the shower, get these curls going to show y'all the rest of what I do. And in the end of the video, I'm going to bring on my friend Yaz. She is putting on the Crunk Curls Festival this weekend, this Saturday, August 13th. If you live in the Denver metro area, be sure to check that out. And like I said, she's going to be at the end of this video to talk a little bit more about the Crunk Curls Festival. Let's get started, y'all. All right, y'all. So I just got out of the shower, fresh, you know, bare face and whatever. I'm in my robe. When I get out of the shower, I always get like a cotton t-shirt could be whatever color you want and I just start drying my hair just kind of going through and kind of squeezing it to get out all of the water if I have somewhere to be and I want it to be completely dry or something like that because I don't have one of those blow dryers that blows cold air yet I don't have one of those I'm just rocking with the natural air out here you can always wrap it up just like you would a towel. I for curly hair, definitely get away from putting a towel on your on your hair if you're trying to dry it. Just because there's a lot of stuff in towels that I mean it's not gonna benefit your hair. It's not it's not going to. And I think a cotton t shirt is gonna absorb a lot more water. And recently I decided to cut back on some of the products I was using. I felt maybe I don't need to be using six or seven products at a time. That might be weighing my hair down and making it get dirty and nasty a lot faster. Right now I'm just kind of using three key elements in my hair. And the first I start with is my serum. It's a defrizz polishing serum by Twisted Sister. I like the girl on the front. Just take a good amount here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then I apply this to the ends of my hair. Just to the to the ends. I like to use the serum to lock in moisture on the ends because that's where the split ends are going down. You know what I mean? That's where they're it's where they're happening. You know what I'm saying? So I just always take the serum and I just apply it to the ends of my hair. The second step, I always kind of switch out. I haven't decided which one I like to go into my hair first. But let's go in with this lovely coconut oil. This is like coconut oil that's like specifically for your hair. 
because it says hairdresser. I even use it as an eye makeup remover. No lie, this stuff works miracles. This coconut oil also makes your hair grow. I started using coconut oil over, like I would say over six months ago. And the increase in my hair length has been significant. And I want to shout out to you, baby. <laughs> a little bit, put it on the hand. And I like to get this onto my scalp and really just massage it in there. And let, and I like to also just kind of scrunch it up, up in my scalp. And I feel like it also gives my hair some volume when I do this. But I'm also getting that coconut oil in at the roots and at my scalp so that way it can grow healthy, I'm hoping, and give my roots and whatnot some moisture. And the last thing I've been putting in my hair, I started using Hair Milk by Carol's Daughter. I really like this stuff. I know it's been out for years, I just never used it. I don't, I mean it was kind of like expensive. When I wanted it, I was like, ooh, it's not really... Oh, also, take your hair and do it in four sections. This part is when I I separate it. And I just kind of... Because it's already kind of parted right here. Because that's why I like to have my curls parted. And then I just take the product on this back end of the hair. And just put the product in like so. I use a lot of this. So I probably use way more. Then I should, especially in the front. I like my curls in the front to be really defined and cute. And after I put it in on that side, I do a little bit of the, the scrunching, you know, to get the curls bouncing. Get that elasticity. I'm still learning a lot about my curls and how to treat them and care for them. I mean, I wore my hair straight for so many years and I didn't care about my curls. I hated my curls. So I just, you know, wore it straight. But, you know, there's a lot to be learned about your curls and how to protect them and how to treat them with care. Like, duh. I'm still learning. And that's okay. We're all in this together. High school musical. <laughs> made my did my curl routine in the morning and I'm about to go out tonight and I don't want to re-wet my curls and what have you I go in with the curl activator cream by twisted sister it gives some life back into my curls after they've been out you know partying all day on my head okay y'all I forgot to mention this but this is really important when it comes to having healthy hair and you know curly hair all the products I use in my hair are sulfate free, paraben free, fluffle free. All of those things are bad. So, so, so bad. The stuff that's in the commercials, those are the shampoos that are really bad for your hair. But so yeah, anything that you're putting in your hair, just be cautious of anything that has alcohol in it. Alcohol dries out your hair. Alcohol isn't going to do anything for you or for your curls so that they're hydrated. So definitely stay away from those things. Honestly, I don't even, I couldn't really explain to you what sulfate and paraben, I just know that they're bad and they should not be in your hair. Think about it. It's like looking at the back of a Pantene bottle the other day and it said chloride in the back of the bottle for the ingredients. Chloride. Chloride is in the pool. That's why when you get out of the pool they say go, go wash your hair now because it's bad for your hair. That's pretty much it. That's my curly hair routine. I just, when I'm in the shower, I wet it with cold water. I comb through it when I'm in the shower with a wide tooth comb or my fingers, but most, most of the time it's a wide tooth comb because my hair has too many tangles and things for me to be. And after I do my hair, I go into my makeup. And by the time my makeup is over and I get dressed and actually leave to go to my destination, and by the time I get to my destination, my hair is pretty dry. It's still a little damp. But it's, it's dry for the, for the most part. What's up everybody? Welcome to part 2 of my video. 
today all about curls. This is my friend Yaz. Would you like to introduce yourself real fast? Yeah, I am Yaz. I'm a native of Colorado. That's not too many of us, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the natives here. I'm strong, okay? No, but I'm Yaz. I'm a part of a group called Crown Curls. And we actually started a couple of, actually months ago, yeah, it's been a couple of months. Uh, and it's just a group of us where we just decided like, yo, we need to like provide spaces for just communities of color to be celebrated, educated, and just loved on. And so we decided to do a Crunk Curls Festival, pretty much. <laughs> and um, it's a natural hair health and wellness festival, and we are like super stoked for it, so. That's really exciting. You want to talk a little bit about what may be happening at the Crunk Curls Festival, or just how to get people out there or something? Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the Crunk Curls Festival, actually in the morning, we are, we have the honor of having Miss Leslie Pace opening up a yoga session for us. 11 to 11.45, just to kind of bring that energy down, you know, bring out good vibes, good people. If you guys want to slide through, come by, bring your own mat, unless you're going to be on the grass. You know, <laughs> Um, and we'll have, you know, we have stylists and barbers doing live demonstrations, working on people's hair. We have tons of vendors from hair products to skin products, clothing, art, all types of stuff. And we'll have food as well. We'll have like DIY tents where you're able to make your own hair charms. Because I'd be rocking my little, my little hair charm. <laughs> hair charms, like face scrubs, and uh, make your own pretty much deep conditioning. That sounds and really so yeah, and so we want this kind of more of a, just a chill vibe. We'll have dope DJs, we'll have a couple, we have my host. We really want to have a couple of curl talks throughout the festival where, hey, Ooh, we just kind of gather nice. around a tree. nice. Yeah. Like, you know, okay. you know, just, you know, gather around a tree or whatever and, hey, just like chill and just be like, yo, let's kind of just talk about it, you know, yeah, especially so nice. being natural in Colorado, you right. know, it's hard. It's hard out here. It's, it's dry. Where did you get the idea to do this crunk curl, to do have this crunk curls festival? Um, I actually had the opportunity to go to New York to go check out their curl fest. Ooh, that sounds and fun. Yes, it was lit. Let me tell you that. I bet. I bet. <laughs> and it was awesome. And just being able to go out there and see so many um, women and men just rocking their natural curls. They came out slaying, let me tell I you bet. that. I um, bet. <laughs> and I really just enjoyed the vision and why these women, uh, Curly Girl Collective, had started this in the first place. And I was like, yo, like, why, like, why don't we have them like this out here? Yeah. You know? And they are the ones for our, our inspiration of why we did Crunk Girls Festival. And they had, like, you know, the big names, like the Shea Moistures, Cantus, you know, and it was really cool just being able to, to see it and be a part of it. And it was nothing but good energy, good vibes, good people, beautiful people, you know? And, I mean, that's what we want kind of out here. We want to provide that space as well, you know? We really want to promote our local businesses. We have some dope local businesses out wow. here. That's like, cool. some philosophy dope. Like, I was like, yo, like, so how come I don't know you yet? Like, yeah. <laughs> and just, like, different groups and stuff. That's why we kind of wanted to do it, you know? And we, uh, we hope to be just as big as uh, Crow Fest. Wow, that's really cool. Well, thank you for stepping up and being a leader. I think sometimes Colorado just needs a few leaders to just step up and say, hey, let's do this, and people will follow. Yeah. I think it's just hard to get something like this put together, so kudos, shout out to you for doing that. I think this could be a really cool event that you start now, and that could be continuing on for years to come. I could see you. I could see it, ha <laughs> I could see it happening. Do you want to let them know maybe where they can find Crown Curls on social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on pretty much every social media platform. Right now, so we're on like <laughs> we're on Facebook. It's just Crown Curls. Um, Instagram is Crown Curls Co. Because you know Crown Curls already taken, so we did Co at the end of it. Same as Snapchat and everything like that. You can even check our website www.crowncurls.com. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, it's this Saturday, Auraria Campus in the Lawrence Street Park. You'll you'll hear us. You know, we'll be loud that morning. Eleven four. Just come out, come have fun, chill. All we ask is that you bring your own lawn chairs or your own blankets. If you want any snacks, bring your snacks. That's cool with me. And also, yo, just, just have fun and just enjoy yourself and definitely just make at least one friend. Oh, I just know that's right. at least one friend out there, you make know? So. So, yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Just come. Like, you know, and it's just a, it's, it's an honor to be able to be on here. And it's a, it's a blessing. I've known Kat for <laughs> since what, like freshman year of yeah. college? Yeah, good. Like. Yeah. <laughs>
shout out to Jasmine and Cheyenne. Yes. That was our little crew. Yeah. So thank you for having me. Oh, for sure. Thanks for coming on. I feel yeah. like this kind of went, <laughs> went right together. <laughs> it went great. It did. It went so. good. Well, y'all, go to the Crunk Curls Festival this weekend. Go. Why not? If you're in the Denver area. Just, to, just, you know, get out there and try something new. Even if you don't have curly hair or even if you're not black, go out there Sweet and girl. just expand. See what's out there, right? Yeah. Life begins when you step out your comfort zone. Well, I'll see you next Thursday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.